In this demonstration, I will show you how to install MPEG Stream Clip using the Unix-based Wine software application. The MPEG Stream Clip Video Converter software application is available for the Mac OS and Windows. We will be using Wine to install the Windows version of the MPEG Stream Clip software application. To begin, we will need Wine installed on any Linux distribution. We will be downloading MPEG Stream Clip 1.2, the Windows version, and QuickTime Alternative 1.81, which is the only version that has MPEG 2 decoding. I will briefly show you how to install Wine using Ubuntu. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a terminal and log in as root by typing in sudo space dash i. Now that I have root access, I'll type in app dash get space install space Wine. And that should do it. Now we're going to download MPEG Stream Clip. So I'll just open up Firefox and I'll go to Google and I'll type in MPEG Stream Clip and I want the first item on the search results which is a squared 5 and as you can see there's two versions there's the Mac version and there's the Windows version I'll just go ahead and click on the Windows version and for the Windows version there are a requirement which is essentially you need QuickTime uh, since we'll be installing this on Wine uh, we'll be using QuickTime alternative so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download MPEG Stream Clip okay and now I'm going to download QuickTime alternative by clicking on the link it takes me to filehippo.com and I want to click on download this version and I want to go ahead and save the file okay now that we have both files downloaded I'm just gonna go ahead and close Firefox Now that I have downloaded both files, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my downloads folder. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the QuickTime alternative. So I'll just right click on that file and select open with Wine Windows Program Loader. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on next. Next again and I want to set the default path, click next and this is where we want to uncheck player we don't want to install the media player classic let's go ahead and click on next next again next again and this is a summary so just go ahead and finish And you will notice that after the installation of the QuickTime alternative the Windows Manager will go completely dark and this is pretty normal for installing QuickTime Alternative and so it will tell you that the installation completed successfully so put a check mark on configure settings for QuickTime okay now for the QuickTime preferences you want to click on the advanced tab and you want to put a dot on safe mode so essentially you don't want to use DirectX and just go ahead and click OK now at this point is a good idea to restart your Linux system to regain your Windows Manager so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and restart now that we're back at the desktop the last thing we're going to do is we're going to 
manually install MPEG Stream Clip. And the reason why we have to manually install it is because there is no installation script for MPEG Stream Clip. So I went ahead and right clicked on the file and selected rename and then I right clicked on it again to copy the highlighted file name and the reason for doing this is to abbreviate a lot of the typing that is needed. Now I went ahead and clicked on application and went under Wine, clicked on Browse C Drive and I went into uh, Program Files and I want to create a folder and this is where I want to right click and paste to create the MPEG Stream Clip folder. Now I'm just going to go ahead and open up that folder that I just created and I want to extract the zip file, the contents of that zip file into that folder that I just created. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create an application launcher also known as a shortcut for MPEG Stream Clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a shortcut from a previous application and then I'll paste it into my new application launcher. So I selected uninstall QuickTime alternative. I'll just go ahead and add that to my desktop. And we're not necessarily going to uninstall QuickTime alternative. We're just going to copy its shortcut. So I'll, I'll right click on that file or that shortcut and I want to copy that entire command that I have highlighted. Go ahead and close the window. And now I want to create an application launcher or create launcher. And I want to give it a name. I'll call it MPEG Stream Clip. And now for the command, I'll just go ahead and paste the shortcut or the command that I just copied. And of course, I'll have to modify it a little bit so that it points to MPEG Stream Clip and not to QuickTime Alternative. So I'll just copy the path for MPEG Stream Clip 1.2. And then I'll go back to my launcher. And I'm going to backspace all the way after program files backslash. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. I'm going to add another backslash. And now I'm going to copy the file name for MPEG streamclip.exe. And now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my launcher and paste it. And as you can see from the lower left, in green, that's the command that I typed in. Now check really quick. Okay. And also I can select an icon for my launcher. So I'll just select this one. Click OK. Click OK again. And there you go. And now I'm just going to go ahead and test it by double clicking on the application launcher. Okay, and we get the licensing agreement. I'll just go ahead and accept it. I want to make sure that it can see some files or folders. And yes, it can. So I'll just go ahead and cancel. And I'll close MPEG Stream Clip. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the shortcut into my panels and get rid of all the desktop icons that I just created. And finally, it's worth noting that my path, which is slash home slash user, will be different from yours. Thank you for watching.